would like you to meet somebody. My new bodyguard, Donkey Kong. Spear my elbow! Spear my elbow! And Elmo has won this matchup! It will be Elmo versus Sonic for the Intercontinental Championship at Glory Road! That's the most fun that we get a shot here. <laughs> German's not has this coming in a long time! What? <laughs> Why I screwed Patrick out of the world title months and months ago. Patrick was my best friend until he made all by himself, leaving me in the dust. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Donkey Kong's doing his dirty work again. Donkey Kong, what? What, what was that? He just threw Kermit over the cage. Oh my God! <laughs> Kermit is still your world champion. SpongeBob, you know what? There's an opening at Glory Road. You and me, we are gonna settle this, and we're gonna stop all the lies you've been spreading. Uh, have the best one win at Glory Road, like you said. Yeah, well, it's all a good fall. What is wrong with you? First of all, you're being like so questionable being disappearing for weeks and stuff like that. But then last week, you crossed the line. You crossed the straw. You crossed everything. You ate my McDonald's wing. You and me, we're done. Oh, because I have the ball. This I just got it forged into his head. Glory. No. Donkey Kong making his intentions clear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VSW Glory Road. My name is Bowser, the general manager of VSW Fireball. Here with the GM of Spike, the Chicago Bear. <laughs> What's going on? Don't forget that tonight is night one. And then tomorrow night is night two. Five matches in total. So much on the line. Do not miss it. Are you ready to begin the show, Chicago Bear? <laughs> and tomorrow night, your team is going down. Enjoy the show! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VSW Glory Road. I am Nixick as always, and we are kicking things off with an Intercontinental Championship matchup. Sonic defends against, against his good friend, Elmo. Sonic, a two-time Intercontinental Champion. This title reign started back at the end of January at the Battle Rumble pay-per-view. And Elmo uh, really accurately achieved the superstar himself. Former world champion in his own right has won a Royal Rumble matchup, but also won a number of contenders fatal four way match to get this opportunity here tonight. Here we go. Glory Road 2023 Night One is underway. And Sonic and Elmo clashing here for the Intercontinental Championship. What a way to kick things off. Still to come tonight on Night One SpongeBob against Patrick and Kermit versus Donkey Kong. Two vicious rivalries, but right now, Two friends just going at to see who should be the Intercontinental Champion. Right, Elmo some shots right to the face. Taking the advantage right now, but Sonic whipped him down right there with an arm drag. And Sonic is taking control of this matchup. Sonic was the Intercontinental Champion last summer. Unfortunately, he had an injury that kept him out for almost six months, it seems like. But since back, he's been on our old, capturing the Intercontinental Championship. And what a big win it would be here tonight if he could pull off this victory. Elmo was actually in the main event of Glory Road last year. Glory Road was only one night. And he would capture his world championship ring. That unfortunately he's lost. Okay, come here. And a kick out. Elmo said he hasn't had any championship luck since losing that world championship. And looks at, wants to turn around tonight and win the Intercontinental Championship. Now Sonic trying to lock in an arm submission hold here. Kind of an arm bar of sorts. And Elmo trying to Twist him around here. Oh, he picked him up. Go for a power slam here. And look at this. Oh, and Sonic with elbows right to the face. And Elmo breaking the grip. So I would say Sonic's been in the control of this matchup for most of the, most of the time so far. Boom! What a power bomb. 
and a kick out by Elmo. Sonic may be looking for that signature elbow drop to put him away at some point in this matchup. Oh, oh my god! Elmo and Sonic go flying outside the ring. Elmo throwing caution out the window. Caution to the wind. That's what you gotta do, especially now it's a glory. Oh my god! Elmo splashing on Sonic outside the ring. That's who Elmo is. He's one of those superstars that just loves to throw a hurry up in. And a kick out by Sonic. Man, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you guys to watch this show. It's set to be a big thing. Elmo for the spear and Sonic countering with a clothesline. Sonic turning it around here. Oh, and now he's going for that signature elbow drop. It's brought up many wins and championship victories in the past. Here he goes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. A spear out of nowhere. The cover. Elmo has won the Intercontinental Championship here on Night One of Glory Road. Elmo takes home the title here tonight. Oh my God! Elmo caught Sonic in midair with that elbow drop into a spear to win the championship. And Sonic, great show of respect here between two good friends. Sonic admits that he was the winner. And he was the better man, better competitor here tonight at Glory Road. What a way to kick things off here. Elmo accomplishes his second championship ever here in VSW. But now it's time for Patrick and SpongeBob to go one on one. Two best friends thrown out the window for greed, it feels like. Patrick was the world champion back at Feaster Fight all the way back in like September or something like that. But he will be screwed out of losing the championship by SpongeBob. SpongeBob's been claiming that he brought Patrick in the VS. No, wait a minute! SpongeBob ambushing Patrick in the match. There we go, the match is started. SpongeBob couldn't wait. And these two can't wait to brawl against each other. And Patrick with a big takedown outside. Oh my god, oh my god. Sending SpongeBob into that little slot there. And Patrick trying to pull him out now. SpongeBob almost. This, I was telling the story of this match. It's just a chaotic start. These two are underneath the ring. Oh, my God. It's Oh, throw right into the wall. Oh, Patrick looking for one of his suplexes. Oh, right to the giant dresser. Patrick throwing SpongeBob back into the ring. Patrick is fired up here tonight. It's SpongeBob with a like punt kick to the side of the head. SpongeBob sucking him in. And now... SpongeBob gonna look to go to work. Oh my gosh! Power slam by SpongeBob, and a kick. Like I said, SpongeBob said he brought Patrick in the VSW, but ever since then, Patrick's just been taking all the glory. No pun intended. Here at Glory Road, and SpongeBob says it should be all about him. Big crossbody into the corner, and SpongeBob wants to be the finish. Put the finishing nail in this rivalry. A big splash from SpongeBob cover, and a kick out by Patrick. And Patrick says SpongeBob, all SpongeBob's doing is lying. He wasn't intent, it, there was no intention to steal the spotlight. He just takes the opportunity, especially when Patrick won money in the bank and cashed in. It's not his fault SpongeBob can't accomplish anything. And now SpongeBob go for a big sponge splash backflip, and Patrick caught him! Caught him! Throwing him to the top rope! Throwing him to the top rope! Now Patrick will look to take him to Suplex City. Sp Patrick has taken momentum back in this matchup. Oh, it's sending sending SpongeBob once again to the top rope. And SpongeBob once again with a punt kick to the side of the head. Oh, right into the wall. Oh, my gosh. This chaotic match, to say the least. Patrick laid out in the ring. SpongeBob over that sponge splash moonsault. There it is. There it is. Cover. Oh, no. No. That was so close. 2.9. The ref's head hit him into the mat. But it was so close. Oh, my God. Hey, Pedro, what, dude, what the heck? What, what, did SpongeBob just shove Patrick down in that hole? What? Let's watch, watch this again. He shoved him in the wall and put, he just pushed him on the GM Bowser out here and the, the roster's coming out here. The match has been called off. Ooh, ooh. We got to have our concerns and the safety for Patrick but as we regroup here. Don't forget, to, tomorrow night is night two of Glory Road. We have Team Fireball versus Team Spike. A lot of, st lot of stipulations on that matchup. And, of course, Luigi 
looks to capture, recapture the world title from his brother Mario. But now it's time for our main event of night one. Donkey Kong goes one on one with Kermit. Man, I hope we get an update on Patrick. That match was called off. There's no winner declared in that one. But Donkey Kong, ready to take it to Kermit. These two have basically been together for almost two years, maybe a year and a half. Who knows exactly the timing on that. But Donkey Kong stopped showing up to do Kermit's dirty work. And Kermit was a fan of that. But now we have this match here at Glory Road. Donkey Kong's ready. And Kermit is shivering in his boots if he was wearing any. Here we go. Main event time at Glory Road. And Donkey Kong, wait a minute, Kermit's running for it! Kermit's running for it! He wants nothing to do with this matchup! Oh my goodness, wait, is that, is that bad over? And wait, is it Kermit? And Donkey Kong chase him! Oh my god! Running him over, tackling him in the hallway! Donkey Kong gonna let Kanal Kermit run away! There's no count outs! Look at this! Oh my god! Tackling him in the hallway! Donkey Kong has the speed advantage for sure, it seems. Now Kermit's trying to hide. I don't think that's a really good hiding spot of sorts. And Donkey Kong. Oh. <laughs> Kermit and. I don't really want to be Kermit. And Kermit climbing. This has really been a race. A great tag or something. Kermit wants nothing to do with Donkey Kong. The race. The, <laughs> the running continues. And Kermit just went in the bathroom. In the darkness. We're in the night vision cam right now. And Kermit, once again, trying to hide again. He's hiding by a Kleenex box. Once again, not a good hiding spot. This time, it seems, like, it seems like Donkey Kong has no clue where he actually went. Anyways, this matchup, remember, even t the tipping, the boiling point is when Kermit was going to try a McDonald's special meal. And supposedly, Donkey Kong ate it. And he almost with Kermit his food. Donkey Kong has found Kermit once again. <laughs> oh my goodness, Kermit, hold on for DLI. Life. Turn it into, is he, was he blowing his nose there? Oh, and Kermit thrown right into the bathtub. We still have the night vision cam here. Oh, this time he's throwing into the bathtub. Donkey Kong just <laughs> no remorse. He's been waiting for this opportunity. And Kermit being thrown back inside the ring. Finally, we get this patch of the ring. And Kermit is doomed for. Donkey Kong is in rage. Oh my, oh my god. Donkey Kong is hit face first off the side of the ring. I think Donkey Kong DK's rage. Got, to, got the better of him, and now Kermit's going to take advantage. Slaps to the face. Never would have slapped it to Donkey Kong this past week on Firewall. It enraged him, and it just did it again, folks. Come on, come on. Kermit cut around nowhere. The Kermit cutter. One, two, wait, what, what? That was only one? You've got to be kidding me. In the end, we've never seen anyone kick out the Kermit cutter at one. Kermit can't believe Oh, my God. Donkey Kong just, oh my god, blasted, so, oh my, he's blasted Kermit, oh my god, Kermit doesn't want to be here, and Donkey Kong, is enjoy, Donkey Kong is enjoying this, Kermit tried to run and hide again, and Donkey Kong pulled him out from his hiding spot, Kermit, Kermit's lost a forfeit, but Donkey Kong says no, we're going to continue this matchup, big power, Bomb from DK! Count to 100! It is over! DK gets the much needed revenge and all the payback that he wants here tonight at Glory Road. Look at this vicious power on the DK power bomb, he calls it, to finish this, ma finish this matchup. Donkey Kong victorious. Thanks for joining us here on night one of Glory Road. We'll see you tomorrow night. Step up, we'll see. This is my evolution. Think of me now, I won't leave you forsaken. See through my eyes, and I know you'll awaken. Reclaiming my voice so I won't be mistaken. Enter the walls of your brain like a breaking, but it ain't hit, it's a source of relating.